We're gonna do the walk around inspection. We're gonna start with the ID lights, amber in color, none broken or missing, and working properly. The highway horns, always loud, always clean, and well secured. They're in good condition. We have our front windshield, no cracks, and nothing blocking my view, in good condition on both sides. The rubber seal around the windshield, no cracks and no leaks. The windshield wipers, working properly and always with new blades, in good condition. We have the grill, always clean and well secured, in good condition. We have the highs and lows, no missing screws on the frame, none broken or missing and in good condition on both sides. We have the turn signal, amber in color, none broken or missing and working properly on both sides. The front bumper, one solid piece, no missing bolts and well secured in good condition. We have our fog lights, none broken or missing and in good condition on both sides. Our license plate, minimum of two bolts by law, always clean and always up to date in good condition. And under the tractor we have no hanging wires and no leaks. Okay, over here we have the water coolant reservoir. No missing bolts, no cracks, and no leaks. And always full. The cap, always tight and secured. And the hoses, no cracks, no leaks, and well secured. It's in good condition. We have the exhaust. No missing bolts, no cracks, no illegal welds, and no leaks. It's in good condition. We have our alternator. No cracks and no illegal welds. The wires, always tight and secured. And the alternator belt, no more than three quarter inches of play and no cracks. Everything is in good condition. The dipstick, always full and no leaks. And the oil cap, always tight and secured, in good condition. Under the passenger seat, we have the windshield washer reservoir. No cracks, no leaks, and always full. And the cap, always tight and secured. Along with the hoses, no cracks, no leaks, and well secured to the reservoir. It's a good condition. From there, we go to our muffler. No, never higher than our trailer, with no missing bolts, no cracks, no illegal welds, and no leaks. It's in good condition. And the muffler supports, no missing bolt, no cracks, and no illegal welds. They're in good condition. Okay, on the right side, we're going to start with our water pump. It's gear driven, no missing bolts, no cracks, and no leaks. It's in good condition. We have our air compressor with the governor. It's part of the air brake system. No missing bolts, no cracks, no leaks, and well secured. And the air compressor hoses. No cracks, no leaks, and well secured to the compressor in good condition. Then we have the power steering reservoir. No missing bolts, no cracks, no leaks, and always full. And the cap, always tight and secured. And the hoses. No cracks, no leaks, and well secured to the reservoir. That's in good condition. Then we have the steering column. No bends, no cracks, and no illegal welds. And always properly greased, in good condition. We have the power steering box. No missing bolts, no cracks, no leaks, and well secured. And the hoses, again. No cracks, no leaks, and well secured to the power steering box. That's in good condition. We have the pitman arm. No bends, no cracks, and no illegal welds. And the torque bolt, always properly adjusted. And then we have our drag links. No bends, no cracks, and no illegal welds. And always secured by two cotter pins, front and back. That's in good condition. Now everything becomes double, okay, after the drag link. We're gonna start with our frame. No bends, no cracks, no illegal welds, and no missing bolts on both sides. Our shock absorbers, Always secured by two bolts, top and bottom. No cracks and no leaks. They're in good condition on both sides. Then we go to our leaf springs with the mounts and our U-bolts. No missing bolts, 
no messing or shifting leaf springs. And the U-bolts are always secured around the leaf springs. Along with the leaf spring bushings, front and back. No rust in between and no damage. Everything is in good condition on both sides. Then we have the brake chamber with the clamp. Slack adjuster and push rod. Slack adjuster and push rod. No more than one inch of play when our brakes are applied. And the clamp is always secured around the brake chamber. No missing bolts, no cracks, no illegal welds, and no leaks. And the chamber hoses. No cracks, no leaks, and well secured to the chamber. On both sides, good condition. Back here we have the drum and shoes. No cracks. No illegal welds and no grease. And no less than a quarter inch of wear left on the brake pad. In good condition on both sides. This tire is always new, it's not recapable. Tread depth is no less than 430 seconds. That can be checked with the gauge. PSI is 95 to 100. That can be checked with the gauge. No pencil marks, no cracks, and no bubbles. They're in good condition on both sides. We have the rims. No beds, no cracks, and no illegal welds. We have the valve stem, always capped, and no leaks. The lug nuts, always tight and secured, no rust in between, and none missing. And the hub seal, always half full, and no leaks. Everything is in good condition on both sides. From there, we go to our mirrors. Our mirrors, always adjusted before driving, always clean and not broken. And the mirror support, no missing bolts and well secured. Good condition on both sides. We have our doors, they open and close easily on both sides. Our hand grips, no missing bolts and well secured. Good condition on both sides. We have our steps, our steps always clean, no missing bolts and well secured. Good condition on both sides. We have our fuel tank. Always 95% full and 5 for expansion. No cracks and no leaks. And the cap, always tight and secure. In good condition on both sides. We have the fuel tank mounts and the hinges. No missing bolts, no cracks, and no illegal welds on both sides. Good condition. So then we go to our battery box. No leaks and no corrosion. No missing bolts and well secured. Good condition. Then we have the frame. No bends, no cracks, no illegal welds, and no missing bolts. That's in good condition on both sides. We have the catwalk. No missing bolts, always clean, and well secured, good condition. From there, come up here. We have the dry shaft. Our dry shaft. No bends, no cracks, no illegal welds, and always free of debris. That's in good condition. And then our air tanks. No missing bolts, no cracks, no illegal welds, and well secured. And the air tank hoses. No cracks, no leaks, and well secured to the air tanks. In good condition on both sides. From there, right behind this member here, we have our air and electric lines. No cracks, no leaks, and well secured. They're in good condition. Then we have our fifth wheel with the apron. No daylight in between, and always greased. We have the fifth wheel release handle. No any welds, no cracks, and always secured in good condition. We have the fifth wheel pins and the mounting bracket. No missing bolts, no cracks, and no illegal welds. That's in good condition on both sides. And then we have the fifth wheel sliding pins and the platform. No missing bolts, no cracks, and no illegal welds. And the pins always locked in place in good condition on both sides. Then here we have our leaf spring with the mounts and the U-bolts. No missing bolts, no missing or shifting leaf springs. And the U-bolt always secured around the leaf springs. We have the leaf spring bushings. No rust in between and no damage, front and back. And the torque bolts always properly adjusted. And the torque rod. No illegal welds, no bends, no cracks, and always free of debris. Everything is in good condition on both sides. Let's do the back of the truck. Okay, back here, we have the fifth wheel gap, always clean. We have the kingpin, always attached to the fifth wheel. 
and the locking jaws are we secured around the kingpin. Everything in good condition. We have our light, signal service, emergency, and reverse. No missing screws, none broken or missing, and working properly on both sides. We have our brake chamber with the clamp and slack adjuster and push rod. Slack adjuster and push rod, no more than one inch of play when the brakes are applied. And the clamp always secured around the brake chamber with no missing bolts, no cracks, no illegal welds, and no leaks. And it's hoses, no cracks, no leaks, and well secured to the chamber. On both sides, good condition. Then we have our drumming shoes. Drumming shoes have no cracks, no illegal welds, and no grease, and no less than a quarter inch of wear left on the brake pad. In good condition on both sides. Then we have our four inch gap, no less than four inches in between, and always free of debris, and our wheels always straight. In good condition on both sides. We have the mud flap, no missing bolts, no ribs, and well secured on both sides. Okay, we have the drive axle tire. This one is recapable. Tread depth is no less than 230 seconds. That can be checked with the gauge. The PSI is 95 to 100. That can also be checked with the gauge. With no pencil marks, no cracks, and no bubbles. They're in good condition on both sides. Our rims, no bends, no cracks, and no illegal welds. We have the valve stem, always capped and no leaks. And the lug nuts, none missing, always tight and no rust in between. And our axle seal, always half full and no leaks. Everything's in good condition on both sides. Trailer. We're going to start with our clearance lights. They're amber in color, none broken or missing, and in good working condition around the trailer. We have the header board. Always clean, no graffiti and no damage, it's in good condition. We have our air lights. Red is emergency, blue is service, and green is our electrical. No cracks, no leaks, and not dragging on the catwalk. They're in good condition. And the glad hands. No missing bolts, no leaks, and well secured. They're in good condition on both ends. Cyber trailer. We have the marker lights, none broken, none missing, and in good condition around the trailer. We have the DLT reflectors, always visible and none missing. They're in good condition around the trailer. Our landing gear. We have the frame, leg, the shoe, and the support. No missing bolts, no cracks, and no illegal welds. On both sides, they're good condition. And the landing gear handle, it's on the other side with no missing bolts and always secured. That's in good condition. Under the trailer, we have the ribs and the floorboard. None broken, none missing, and in good condition throughout the whole trailer. Then we have our short frame. No bends, no cracks, no illegal welds, and no missing bolts on both sides. We have the air tank. No missing bolts, no cracks, no illegal welds, and no leaks. And the hoses, no cracks, no leaks, and well secured to the air tank. That's in good condition. Then right over there we have our brake chamber with the clamp, slack adjuster and push rod. Slack adjuster and push rod, no more than one inch of play when the brakes are applied. The clamp is always secured around the brake chamber. No missing bolts, no cracks, no illegal welds, and no leaks. And it's hoses, no cracks, no leaks, and well secured to the chamber. In good condition on both chambers. We have our drum and shoes. No cracks, no illegal welts, and no grease. And no less than a quarter inch of wear left on the brake pad. In good condition on both sides. Then we have our leaf spring with the mount and our U-bolts. No missing bolts, no missing or shifting leaf springs. And the U-bolt always secured around the leaf spring. Leaf spring bushings, no rust in between and no damage front and back. Our torque bolt always properly adjusted. And we have the torque rod. No bends, no cracks, no illegal welds, and always free of debris. Everything is in good condition on both sides. Right back up, oh, I did the drumming shoes already, okay. We have the four inch gap, no less than four inches in between, and always free of debris, and the wheels always straight. That's in good condition on both sides. Okay, trailer axle tire. This tire here is recapable. Tread depth is no less than 230 seconds. That can be checked with the gauge. The PSI is 95 to 100. That can also be checked with the gauge. With no pencil marks, no cracks, and no bubbles. 
good condition on both sides. The rims, no bends, no cracks, and no illegal welds. The valve stem, always capped and no leaks. The lug nuts, always tight, none missing, and no rust in between. And our hub seal, no missing bolts, always half full, and no leaks. Everything in good condition on both sides. Okay, back to trailer. Here we have our clearance and marker lights. They're red in color, not broken, not missing, and working properly. We have the doors, they open and close easily on both sides. And the hinges, no missing bolts, and well secured on both sides. We have the lights, signal, service, and emergency. No missing screws, not broken or missing, and working properly on both sides. We have the mud flaps, no missing bolts, no ribs, and well secured on both sides. We have the pit to hook, no missing bolts, no cracks, and no illegal welds. That's in good condition. And our license plate, minimum of two bolts by law, and always clean. Good condition. Cut. Ha, 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 ha.